One of the plans that we always had in place was to take our time. We didn't want to move out of Florida before this beautiful weather turned very hot. Water's got to stay in. I'm asking about two. Another plan we had was for Mike to disappear for a little while to tend to his cabinet business. And we had to figure out how to get him to land to pick up his truck. This abandoned boat ramp had a lot of manatees around. Put it in neutral for a second because, yeah. There's a the truck still there, that's good. He's been sleeping in it, probably. <laughs> Wondering if my windows were going to be in the there's actually fish in the water. Uh, There's actually little fishes in the water. Yeah, I seen that yesterday actually. I'll be darned. Mike took our trash and his stuff and made his way across the street like a homeless guy back to his truck where we parked it on the side of the road. Yeah, it's gonna break open. Is everything here? I think so. Alright, see you Friday. Alright, cat. He still has to work from time to time to help afford this trip and we had to figure out a way to, for him to get back to shore. You gotta act a little bit like a pirate if you're gonna spend some time on the hook while doing the loop. Well hey guys, I am on the way back to our little anchorage after having dropped Mike off. There's a, uh, a very um, low number of places where you can actually go ashore so you kind of have to find a spot drop them off and kind of run for the hills you know <laughs> yeah it's pretty sad that to, to not see more public access but it's one of the things you got to do it's one of the hardships of living on uh, the hook as it were this area has got so many manatees in it it's ridiculous so it's idle speed i'm taking my time going real nice and slow trying to look out for swirls in the water one of the things i wanted to talk about is the Aside from, look at that, what a cool thing, man. Just a workshop and a boat. <laughs> what else does a guy need, huh? I wouldn't mind that. The place I dropped Mike off actually would be an awesome place to, uh, sorry, I'm distracted by looking for manatee. It would have been a cool place to have a kayak rental business, that's for sure. Because, you know, everybody's forced to slow down and go slow around here. And there's a lot to see. Tons of manatee. I would assume there's some fish in here. I don't know, I haven't found them yet. But I did want to give you guys a heads up about uh, everything that's going on. I'm enjoying being at this uh, anchorage, which is pretty quiet. After a few years of uh, having my doors open and people coming and seeing me whenever, that was a great experience. But having some me time now is actually really, really nice. I could see it getting old after a while especially after I start running out of provisions. That's one of the reasons Mike came, is he hooked me up with some things to eat, some things to drink, and next week sometime, I think we're gonna move, probably try to get a transient slip somewhere so that we can provision for real. And a week beyond that, hopefully we're gonna be heading towards a place where we're gonna pull the motor. We talked to somebody today who uh, is gonna build the motor. The guy is highly recommended by multiple sources. It really seems like he knows what he's doing. Really seems like a bit of a perfectionist, if you, uh, if you ask me. Uh, he wants to make sure everything matches and that, you know, uh, one motor is not stronger than the other and that the swap goes nice and easy and that everything from the old motor that we're going to reuse fits on the new motor. Definitely seems like a guy who knows what he's talking about, so I'm glad we found him. I think he's in Fort Lauderdale, so we're going to head down there to meet with him before long. So I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about having a brand new motor, as opposed to the ones that I had, which were 18 years old, I think. So that's that's the good news. The, the good news is we have a new motor lined up. We've figured out a way to go and get it. We have some meetups planned and other good stuff. It's just a hiccup, you know? It's a bump in the road, and I'm trying not to let it get me down, you know? How do you, yeah, look at me. I'm taking a boat ride on a beautiful day, and the weather is beautiful. So there's not much really to be mad about. So uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the news. Everything else has been kind of um, normal, I guess. As normal as it gets, living on a boat. I see swirls right here. I gotta be prepared to stop. Don't wanna hit any sea cows. Uh, other things, uh, you know, little projects on the boat have been happening. I, I replaced some of the netting on the front of the boat. I've been meaning to do this for a long, long time. 
And there's been little touch-ups here, you know, a little paint touch-up here and there. When I got the boat, the person who sold it to me had given everything a coat of Rust-Oleum oil-based paint. It was not uh, the fancy gel coat that you normally see on boats. I wouldn't be opposed to doing it that way, but it would be such a tremendous undertaking that instead I just continue touch-ups here and there as they're needed. As long as it looks good on camera, I mean, <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm a fan of aesthetics. However, I'm also very pragmatic and I understand that it's better to have something that runs properly than looks properly. Function over form, I guess, is uh, more important. So that's it. I've got some more prep work to do on the motors, a little, you know, boring stuff, but I'll try to keep you guys in the loop. I thought about doing this as a live, but the signal has been kind of sketchy at best, so. I thought this would be a better quality video. Although I'm going to continue doing the lives because I enjoy the interaction and being able to answer questions as you guys write them. Oh, and of course, after mentioning the uh, website, all my koozies that I had sold out, like within a couple of hours. Uh, and there have been some very generous folks out there contributing towards the money I need to buy the new motor and to keep this adventure going. I'm really, really blown away by it. So uh, all you people out there, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I hope someday I get to give back to at least some of you guys. I, I am going to get more koozies made and have them up on the website maybe in a week's time. There are koozies that I have with me on the boat that I have to get back to my friend who is taking care of all the shipping. Dude, you know who you are. You're amazing. I felt bad for him. I apologize to him for <laughs> how much work I put on his uh, shoulders, but he's a, he's a great supporter of me and the channel and this whole adventure. So, Rich, thank you. But yeah, when I, uh, when I give him the extra koozies and we put them up on the website to buy, I'll let you guys know that they're available. And that'll be it. Once they're gone, they're gone because they're koozies from the rental business because they say Zoffinger's kayaks on them on one side. The next round of merchandise that comes will have a different logo on it. And uh, I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but again, I'll keep you guys in the loop as best as I can. All right, I'm getting out to uh, bigger water here. And across the way is home sweet home. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming along as always.